Hello everyone, uh, I welcome you to today's class and I hope that you had an opportunity to go through the last class where we discussed uh, dismartin iodine oxidizing agent for the oxidation of alcohols to the corresponding carbonyl compounds. As I mentioned that reagent is useful for uh, converting primary alcohols to the corresponding aldehyde without over oxidation and also that uh, substrates which are acid sensitive uh, are easily oxidized to the corresponding carbonyl compounds without uh, any, any problem. We discuss the mechanisms involved in the oxidation using DMP or desmartin pyridinine reagent and also we saw how water uh, affects the rate of the reaction uh, where the uh, water plays a very crucial role in the mechanism allowing the oxidation to occur fast. Now in today's lecture we will be uh, talking about uh, another interesting reagent which is also based on this hypervalent uh, iodine which is called iodoxybenzoic acid. If you recall we had uh, seen this intermediate as uh, one of the uh, products that forms when ortho iodobenzoic acid is oxidized with oxone or with potassium bromate then one of the intermediates that is formed is this iodoxybenzoic acid which is then reacted with uh, acetic anhydride to form the desmartin pyridine uh, reagent. Now this intermediate also has uh, enormous potential as an oxidizing agent. It is however insoluble in many organic solvents. And that is of course one of the problems that it has. However, it is fortunately it is soluble in a solvent like DMSO which is uh, DMSO is nothing but dimethyl sulfoxide. It is a polar aprotic solvent dimethyl sulfoxide and it dissolves this uh, particular reagent readily and it can thus be used as an oxidizing agent. It is specially useful of course to convert alcohols to aldehydes but then there are many other very important transformations that have been discovered and uh, there is also a very interesting mechanistic uh, investigations that have been carried out. For example, if one starts with this reagent which uh, is shown here like this. So you have this iodine oxygen double bond which of course we can always write like this as I have mentioned above. However, when this uh, hydroxy group at this position is replaced by say uh, the alcohol which is present in this particular case uh, say methanol is used as, as, a, as a substrate and the methanol when it replaces the alcohol hydroxy group from here this is the intermediate that is formed. Now this intermediate uh, has been very carefully looked at also by theoretical means is that the iodine oxygen bond is out of plane. And uh, the one can see that there is an sp3 carbon here and of course this iodine oxygen this carbon and, and these hydrogens around here they basically are uh, not in the same plane as this iodine oxygen double bond. Uh, but 
there is a steric hindrance which is observed which has been found to take place between the hydrogen here and the hydrogen here of the uh, alcoholic substrate. Now the oxidation would not occur unless and until the oxygen here at this uh, uh, reagent this oxygen here is in plane with the hydrogen that needs to be removed during oxidation. So basically what happens is there is a some sort of twist that has to occur where the iodine oxygen double bond is twisted is twisted so that it allows the uh, hydrogen and this oxygen basically in such a way that they are in the same plane and then the oxidation can take place. So the first uh, step where the alcohol in this case methanol but any alcohol replaces the hydroxy group here by, by the oxygen of the alcohol to form this intermediate here, here it requires approximately 9.1 kilocalories per mole to uh, replace the hydroxy group by the alkoxy. But then the twist mechanism, the twist of the iodine oxygen double bond requires more energy like 12.1 kilocalories per mole followed by now very little amount of energy such as 4.7 kilocalories per mole for the elimination to take place. Already this intermediate is is at a high energy therefore it takes very little energy to then undergo oxidation by the there is a release of the strain because this intermediate which is in the middle is highly strained intermediate and that undergoes or allows elimination or the oxidation to take place to form the formaldehyde and of course you get back the iodo. Um, iodosobenzoic acid this is IBA iodosobenzoic acid. So the mechanism is an interesting uh, aspect and this has been of course theoretically done uh, checked and, and confirmed. So the first uh, step as I mentioned takes place alcohol replaces the hydroxy group then there is a hypervalent twist that takes place because the I double bond O gets twisted it is needed since IO group is out of plane and thus the alkoxy group cannot be in plane with the I double bond O to form a 5 member cyclic transition state which I showed earlier here there is a 5 member transition state that is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, 5 member transition state. This is a rate determining step in the oxidation as substantiated by computational chemistry. The twist mechanism explains why sterically bulky alcohols react faster than less bulky. So uh, if you have sterically bulky alcohol then of course the, uh, the when the twist takes place already you are at a very high energy level and therefore to release energy the oxidation takes place very fast and then the uh, corresponding carbonyl compound is obtained. This can also be done by replacing the ortho hydrogen and the alkoxy hydrogens experience steric repulsion. So if, uh, if I can see here the hydrogen which is present here at the ortho position here or here whatever is having an ex a steric interaction between these, these hydrogen from the alkoxy uh, part of the alcohol. So if one increases instead of hydrogen if one makes it here some bulky group or you increase the bulk on this the, the steric hindrance will become larger the, the substrate will be at a higher energy and therefore the oxidation takes place faster. That means the ortho hydrogen and alkoxy hydrogens experience steric repulsion and release in strain thus becoming the rate determining step. So once the ligand exchange takes place you immediately allow uh, uh, a steric hindrance to take place between the ortho hydrogen or the ortho substituent and the substituents 
or the uh, on the alcoholic part of it and the twist mechanism requires uh, the IO bond to be twisted which then uh, is required for the oxidation to take place. But since the substrate is at a higher energy level very little energy is given and then the oxidation occurs to release enormous amount of energy and therefore the reaction occurs fast. Replacement of the ortho hydrogen by methyl or increase the bulk of the alkoxy group increases the rate of the oxidation. Now IBX is also available as a, as a silica gel or a polymer a polystyrene bound IBX. It is uh, uh, the IBX can be uh, adsorbed on, on silica gel or a polystyrene based IBX are also available in the, in the market. Now uh, as I mentioned that uh, the substrates such as the cyclopropyl alcohols with uh, these type of uh, uh, functional groups being around uh, allow the reaction to take place and we get uh, almost like 94 percent yield of the corresponding product. Now the diol uh, also at uh, 80 degrees uh, allows the cleavage of the bond here. It is similar to the DMP based oxidation which we discussed here for example we do not have any hydrogen. So obviously when you have uh, an oxygen here, an oxygen here and IBX uh, reacts with it. So we form uh, an intermediate of this kind here. So you have uh, uh, one of the OH group going and you generate O minus here. So IBX if it is taken, so you have here an IBX and so uh, one of the OH group uh, can be replaced by the, the other one and the this alcohol and the I double bond O will give this. So you have an intermediate of this kind which can then undergo uh, cleavage uh, of this type to form of course you will have here the rest of the part of the uh, here for example here. This is the part that is present from the reagent. So basically what is happening is that this gives two of these and plus what will be left is from the reagent which I can write it in this way that what you have is, is an OH here. So your iodoxybenzoic acid has got reduced, this iodoxybenzoic acid has got reduced to the corresponding iodosobenzoic acid and the diol has undergone cleavage to the corresponding uh, two ketones CC bond cleavage. So the intermediate is similar, this intermediate is very similar to the desmartin pyridinine reagent based. So if you have an uh, hydrogen here, if it is present here, one of the hydrogens which is present and IBX DMSO will allow oxidation to take place to, to form the alpha hydroxy ketone. So here we had no hydrogen present as an alpha to the hydroxy group here there is a hydrogen present to one of the hydroxy groups here and then you get a, a alpha hydroxy ketone. If of course there are two of the hydrogens which are present then one can get alpha diketone or alpha hydroxy ketone one of the oxygens gets oxidized and other one does not get oxidized or one can get a mixture of the both two. So uh, this kind of uh, uh, oxidations occur uh, when we have these substrates of uh, diol type where we can have several possibilities uh, along with the CC bond cleavage one can get alpha hydroxy ketone which is what is present here or a alpha diketone. Now, now diketone uh, I just explained earlier that how the diol cleavage 
takes place. But then there is important point that I need to mention here is that in the case of DMP the, the generally the temperature is not required higher because solubility is not a problem whereas in this case you have to use approximately 80 degrees temperature. So this is the difference. Now, the, now here for example the same mechanistic aspects that I have mentioned is the DMSO also sometimes can be considered to act as a um, nucleophile to activate the iodine oxygen double bond here. And an intermediate of this kind has been proposed which now has uh, uh, 4 iodine oxygen bonds uh, with also possibility of that this as a very good leaving group. So when, when the diol reacts the DMSO can also first come out. So basically DMSO acts as a, a nucleophile to activate the IBX here generating species like this where now DMSO itself can act as a leaving group and one of the hydrox groups of the diol reacts with it and replaces the DMSO and form this and then the other hydrox groups reacts and then you form an intermediate of this kind because one of the hydroxy group will be gone as a water here and then of course oxidation by the CC bond cleavage occurs to form this IPA. So this is what the mechanistic aspects of the cleavage or, or the alpha hydroxy ketones where if one of the R groups is hydrogen. Now uh, there is another interesting uh, aspect of this particular IBX which has been um, reported by uh, a scientist named Casey Nicolau in the United States who has published a large number of papers on this uh, utility of uh, IBX in various organic transformation. For example here uh, you, if you take uh, alcohol, so if uh, one takes a cyclohexanol and use instead of one uh, equivalent of IBX which will convert to the corresponding cyclohexanone. If one takes two equivalents of IBX at 65 degrees in DMSO toluene, you straight away can get the corresponding enone. Now this is an interesting uh, reagent uh, aspect because such conversion of uh, an alcohol to the corresponding enone is somewhat difficult or it takes uh, a few steps. Similarly, uh, very interestingly if one takes cycloheptanol and if you use two equivalents of uh, IBX then of course as expected you get an enone like similar to the one that I mentioned here. But if one takes uh, four equivalents of IBX then you can also introduce the other double bond that means on this side of the double bond. So the first equivalent allows the oxidation to take place to form cycloheptanone and then second one allows the introduction of the uh, enone or the double bond there and then you need uh, two more equivalents because then the rate of reaction becomes a little bit slow. So you need more reagent and then you can also introduce another double bond on the left side. So this is how these uh, oxidations are described in the literature. Now uh, these uh, oxidations with IBX, uh, uh, the presence of amines and isolated alkenes are tolerated. That means this oxidizing agent is a mild oxidizing agent. So anywhere if you have a nitrogen or, or an alkene in, a, in the reaction medium uh, somewhere anywhere like for example you have an alcohol which is like this or if you have an alcohol like this then the nitrogen as well as the double bond uh, gets tolerated under reaction condition. It is observed that catalytic amount of uh, paratoin sulfonic acid uh, increases the rate. Addition of pyridine uh, decreases the rate of the reaction. Now it, it is just exactly opposite of uh, paratoin sulfonic acid. So an acid catalyst increases the rate but the basic catalyst like pyridine decreases the rate of reaction but does not affect the yield 
it does not really affect the yield, it might take a little longer. This allows extremely acid labile compounds to undergo reaction. It is very similar to the desmartin pyridinine oxidations, but uh, they, this particular reagent allows say a few other transformations to occur also. Can give varying degrees of unsaturation, that means you have possibility of getting such kind of as I mentioned above is unsaturations here. So this one can see uh, in this particular paper uh, some aspects of this reaction. Now what is the mechanism of the uh, conversion of uh, this uh, alcohol to uh, enones? The first is that the alcohol gets oxidized to the corresponding ketone which is the normal mechanism which I discussed. And then of course uh, it can exist as a, as a ketoenol, this is an enol uh, which then can react directly with the iodine here to form an intermediate of this kind. Now already there is a hydrogen which is at this position, this is what is the position here shown. That can undergo uh, this kind of electron transfer so that you generate uh, one, one of the species that will come out of course would be uh, oxygen H plus here and uh, you of course will have an OH minus. So if one can see what is coming out of from here to here is, is this plus this. So this is the reagent, this is the substrate and then the two of them with OH minus and this, this uh, particular part of the carbonyl group will give the responding carbonyl compound and this IBA. So this is how the oxidation takes place where an alcohol is first oxidized to the corresponding ketone followed by this type of reaction. Now there is a possibility also of converting. Now why, of course in this reaction we have converted an alcohol to, uh, to the ketone and then to an enone or dienone. This is the dienone, the, when there are two double bonds, when there are two double bonds it is dienone, this is dienone. So now one can also start with just ketone, instead of uh, diketone one can start with the ketone and you can get the corresponding enone. So uh, in this uh, particular case uh, uh, the reagent uh, of course is IBX here and now you need only one equivalent of the, of the reagent because you already have the ketone, we do not have an alcohol. So we can start with one equivalent but then it is found that 4-methoxypyridine uh, oxide, which is what is called it should be MPO, MPO not PMO and that is used uh, as a ligand to for the reaction to uh, take place faster or to allow this reaction to take fast. Now what is the mechanism that is proposed is that first is enol formed and then what you have is a is basically a single electron transfer. So what you have is uh, is when this uh, IBX uh, reacts with this enol, then we generate a radical uh, cation here or radical cation by the transfer of uh, uh, this uh, electron to the uh, IBX to form this particular to this particular uh, radical anion. So you have a radical cation here and a radical anion here 
and then the electron from here picks up the hydrogen from here and forms a double bond. And then you in the process you, you form this intermediate and then this intermediate takes the proton from here, this proton is lost from here and one forms the enone and the reagent is converted to the corresponding another intermediate of this type which loses water and forms IBA. So basically what is happening is there is a single electron transfer and there is a mechanism which is uh, uh, supported by uh, some experiments in this case and that is available in this particular reference. So you start with the enol which is present in the reaction medium from the ketone itself and then that allows an electron transfer to take place from here to here. So uh, then you can have the formation of an enone via these type of intermediates. So this is uh, something an interesting aspect of the reaction and uh, uh, we will uh, stop it at this stage and take the uh, other aspects of oxidizing agents in the next class. So I suggest that you see this lecture carefully using uh, IBX where we have done the oxidation of alcohol to the corresponding ketone, diol cleavage, preparation of alpha hydroxy ketones and then uh, the um, oxidation of alcohols to the corresponding enone or the corresponding dienones depending on how many equivalents of IBX uh, are taken. If you take two equivalents of IBX and then alcohol gets transformed to the corresponding enone. If you take uh, uh, four equivalents of IBX then the alcohol gets uh, transform to the corresponding dienone. Then if one starts with a, with a ketone then you can use one equivalent of IBX and get the corresponding enone which uh, has been found to essentially progress via an electron transfer type of mechanism which of course one can easily check using uh, EPR that is electron paramagnetic resonance spectroscopy and there is a good uh, mechanism uh, support that has been found and published uh, in the reference that I gave. So um, uh, you can go through these uh, oxidations and then we will see you next time. So take care and thank you.